Malik Rozier has the experience, and he even helped lead Miami to a 10-win season in 2017. Is it really possible that Malik Rozier could lose his starting position before the first game of the season? Now, hold up, hold up just a second. I have a quick announcement before we get into the meat of this video. A lot of you guys are probably saying, why is this video a couple of days late? Because I'm usually on schedule, I'm usually on time. Well, I have a big announcement. I'm gonna be a daddy. And yes, you heard that right. Uh, we just found out uh, that my wife is seven months pregnant. And yes, you just heard that correctly. Seven months. And uh, I'm going to put a picture up here for you guys. I, I had the ultrasound tech zoom in and take a, a more a closer picture because I thought I caught a glimpse of something. So I had her take a second picture. And who would have guessed? Repping the U already. I, again, we, we've got a baby hurricane on the way. I'm super excited. Contrary to what some of you might believe, I do not live in my parents' basement. I have actually been married for a, a, a quite a while, okay? So I, I'm going to have a baby hurricane on the way. Don't worry. There's still going to be uh, just as much content on here, but I'm super pumped and excited to bring to raise another kid to, to root for the team that that matters the team the miami Hurricanes. so we're gonna raise this baby right raise a miami hurricane so i just wanted to let you guys know that and also really quick uh we did a live stream a couple of weeks ago we are doing another one as you can see back here i've got another snapback hat still fresh in the bag not been opened uh, but i'm gonna give away another snapback hat uh, in the next live stream so be sure to subscribe for that and click that little notification bell when we go live so that way you can have a chance to win the snapback hat but let's get into the meat of this video on the leak rosier now i know a lot of you are going to say man this all miami fans this is just a constant debate i'm tired of hearing about this well strap in because you're going to continue to hear about it until the lsu game it is what it is um, but the thing is, I want to put to rest what I think Mark Rick is going to do and my opinion. But also keep in mind that there's still summer and fall, and those haven't happened yet. So a lot of things can develop and happen in that time frame. So none of this necessarily is set in stone, but this is at this current moment. And also, here's the deal. We're not going to sugarcoat anything in this video. I'm not going to base my opinion based on what you guys think. And you should be the same way. Don't base your opinion on what anyone else is saying on ESPN or in the comment section or other other Miami uh, YouTubers. Uh, but base your own opinion on research that you gather and just kind of what you've seen. And honestly, I'm just going to kick it off right off the bat with saying that the, the downsides of Malik Rozier's game are very obvious. Uh, most importantly, his inconsistency. But also keep in mind that you cannot deny the fact that Rozier delivered in some very clutch moments uh, that the last few QBs at Miami were never able to do. But you also can't deny the fact that Rozier, with the exception of maybe one or two games, maybe was never consistent. Even when we won, Malik Rozier, in my opinion, was never consistent. Again, maybe, maybe the Notre Dame game, maybe one other game, but again, Rozier, consistent, don't go in the same sentence. And really, in my opinion, QB is one of those positions that you need consistent play from every game. Because, I mean, all positions, of course, are important. Everyone has to do their part. 
but a good, solid, high football IQ, consistent quarterback is required uh, to take a team to the next level. So here's the million dollar question. If Miami was your team to coach, if you were in Mark Rick's shoes, do you put the ball in the hands of the guy with experience or the talented young buck who has yet to prove himself in a game situation? Let me know in the comments below because I'm sure you guys are ready still to debate this. And again, please don't get butt hurt. I mean, I'm just saying we can argue. Arguing is fine because I guarantee you not everyone is going to agree on this. There's no way. It's impossible. But don't get butt hurt. Again, arguing is fine. But come on, not everyone is going to agree with you on it. And it's cool. It's fine. And because here's the thing, I'm about to tell you what I would do in this situation, and then I'm going to tell you what I think Mark Rick is going to do about this situation. So, what Coach Coop would do if it were my call to make for the LSU game, kicking off the season, the Advocara Classic, national TV, on a Sunday night, I am starting Nikosi Perry against LSU. And here's why. Throw him into the fire and see how he performs. Because here's what I do. Before the game starts, I, I kind of pull him to the side and I say, show me that you're the guy. Show me that you are Miami's quarterback. Show me that you are ready to lead this team. But here's the thing. I say start Nikosi Perry, but keep him on a short leash. And the reason why I emphasize him is because everyone is saying it the other way around. Everyone says start Malik Rozier, but keep him on a short leash, and if he messes up, put in Nikosi Perry. I see it a different way. I say start the talented young quarterback who we don't know what his ceiling is yet, and keep him on a short leash if he makes a lot of mistakes, if he's taking us down a, a bad path, then you put in the guy with experience. Because here's the thing, Rozier has come up clutch in some big games already, and he's already performed in multiple comeback situations. So honestly, I think that we can agree that it's not a problem to put Rozier in a situation in game one if Miami is down. What, what I'm getting at is I, I don't think that Rozier would be, uh, I'm trying to think of a better way to put it, Rozier would not be rattled if he was tossed in a game uh, in a comeback situation. The thing is, is this scenario would give Rick a chance to see if Perry might really be the one, the guy, the guy that is going to take Miami to the next level. Here's your, your best bet. Here is the way to do it. And that is, again, that is my opinion. That's what I would do. So with that being said, Let's move on to what I actually think Mark Rick will really do. Take the situation that I just gave you and completely just flip it around. Rozier, the guy with experience, will start, but he will be on a short leash. Uh, I do think that Mark Rick favors experience uh, over just about anything else. Uh, I'm just putting it out there. Obviously, talent does play a big part, makes a huge impression, but Mark Rick has always leaned on the more experienced side. But if at any point Miami goes down by three touchdowns or more, Mark Rick will put Perry in. Rick, in some uh, past interviews, has expressed his displeasure with Rozier's inconsistency, so I don't think that it would take him long to get frustrated with Rozier if it comes to that, especially on this type of stage after the way the season ended. If Rozier is inconsistent, if he's not performing well right out of the gate, Mark Rick is gonna, gonna pull the plug and go with Perry. And I really think that, that that's how it's going to happen. That's what Mark Rick is going to do. We can debate it all day, and it's fun to debate it. But at the end of the day, Mark Rick, the coach of the Miami Hurricanes, is going to go with the quarterback with experience. And it is what it is. That's that's how it's gonna happen. So here's my answer to the debate. 
And for now, my final answer to the debate, until we get through summer and until we get through fall, can Nikosi Perry dethrone Malik Rozier before the LSU game? Yes. But will he? Absolutely not. Again, Mark Rick values experience, and he's not going to roll the dice on Perry until we have run the score up in a few games, and he gets a chance to see Perry uh, in a few third and fourth quarters in an actual game experience. He's not going to throw the young guy out there, no matter how talented he is, no matter how good he's looked in practice, in scrimmages. He's not going to throw Nikosi Perry out there on prime time against LSU, not at home, on national TV. It's not going to happen, guys. It's just that it's... That's not Mark Rick. That's not what he does. It's not going to happen. And again, maybe you don't agree with that. And it's cool. It's fine. Let me know in the comment section below, though. I want to know what you guys think about my opinion as well. Because I've never fully expressed that, I don't believe, in in past videos. So uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about my idea with rolling with Nikosi Perry, but him being on a short leash, pulling in, putting in the guy in experience, to, to stage the comeback if need be. So that, again, that's my opinion. And um, yeah, that, that's, that's all I'm going to say about this debate. And probably until we get a couple of weeks before the first game. Once we went through summer, once we went through fall, and we really can just hear a little more from Mark Rick and maybe put a finger on how this QB race is actually going to go. And don't think that I have forgotten about Jaron Williams. I'm not sleeping on Jaron Williams. But again, with Mark Richt not wanting to put in a new guy, he's going to roll with experience. He's definitely not playing the freshman Jaron Williams. It's, that's out of the question. That is not, in my opinion, unless some injuries happen, uh, that, that's not in the books. That's, that's not even a possibility. It's not going to happen. So that's why I'm not talking about Jaron Williams, in case some of you are wanting to know. I am excited about him, but he's not playing this season, period. And again, don't forget... 3,000 subscribers. We are at almost 2,700 now. I'm dropping the Miami Hurricanes rap video. That'll be coming out soon. And also, I want to clear something up right quick. I'm going to say something, okay? And only subscribers that watch all of my videos are going to know why I'm saying this. I may not clear anything else up. I may just leave it at this. I'm just going to say something, okay? Are you guys ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Sebastian the Ibis. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. You guys who have watched my previous video will know why I'm saying that. I'm just going to leave it at that. I think, I'm sorry guys, I live in Tennessee. I've always said something a certain way. So I just wanted to clear it up that I can say it that way. And we're just going to leave it at that. But again, live stream coming up in the next week or two. If you want to win a Snapback Miami Hurricanes hat, be sure to be subscribed and be there for the live stream. That's the only requirements. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Again, baby hurricane on the way. I've got a lot of stuff. Some things are going to be changing. I'm going to start recording in an entirely different area. But with that comes upgrades. So things are about to get interesting. And I'm going to be, I still have the interview set up with Paul, the guy who considers himself a super seminal FSU fan. Things are going to get heated and crazy with that. And we've still got some things. I don't know if you guys noticed. I think you can read the shirt. We've got big things coming. Okay? I'm just going to leave it at that. we got big things coming for my Miami Hurricanes family. I, I love all you guys, man. appreciate the love you guys show the channel. And, uh, yeah, just remember, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, i got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the you. College football vids, peace out, guys.